Everyone should be able to work without fear of workplace violence and harassment in a safe and healthy workplace. Violence and harassment in the workplace are not tolerated in Ontario. And that's why we've brought in legislation to address workplace violence and harassment in Ontario. In the following video, two Ministry of Labour inspectors discuss the requirements in workplace violence and harassment prevention and outline what they'll be looking for during workplace inspections. I'm Debbie Pravlicek with the Ontario Ministry of Labour. I'm an industrial inspector and health care lead. And I'm Kevin Brown. I'm an occupational health and safety inspector with the Ministry of Labour and I'm with the construction program. Workplace violence is the exercise, attempt or threat of physical force of a person against a worker. Or it's a statement or behavior that a worker could reasonably interpret it to be a threat to exercise physical force that could cause physical injury in the workplace against the worker. A workplace violence policy and program and a workplace harassment policy and program. Okay. Workplace harassment means engaging in a course of vexatious comment or conduct against a worker in the workplace that is known or should be known to be unwelcome. So there are workplaces that have a greater risk for workplace violence. Some of the conditions that can put a worker at a higher risk would be such things as handling cash, working alone. Hello, 4th East Nursing Station. Working with the public, could be working with an unstable client. Uh, are they on night shift hours? And it also looks like you've identified a lot of your associated risks. Each workplace has specific risks and that is what is required as well for the workplace violence legislation is to conduct a risk assessment. It's important for the employer to do a risk assessment because they'd be able to identify the type of work, the conditions of work and the nature of work that they do and the risks that would be associated with their workplace. Okay, I'm also looking for your health and safety policy and your program. Okay. Another requirement would be to um, ensure workers are reporting incidents of workplace violence and harassment. Also, it requires the employer to investigate these incidents and to deal with them. And also to have a mechanism in place that would um, summon immediate assistance in case of a Workplace Violence Act or a potential for one. We have an emergency buzzer system, plus we have a code white call. Which it's is important for the employer to have a policy, a program for both workplace violence and workplace harassment. And also develop training and deliver that training to their workers on their own procedures and their own policies. When it comes to a workplace, I generally am speaking um, to the workplace parties about policies uh, that they have in place. Uh, they may have a manual on many of the measures and procedures uh, that are part of their program. And then also I'm looking at training documents in terms of instructions, if they have any uh, instruction of workers on the policy and programs available. Morning, I'm Kevin Brown, I'm a construction inspector with the Ministry of Labour, and I'm here to do an inspection on your job site. When we arrive on site, we're initially looking to speak to the supervisor of the projects, and also to the worker health and safety rep, or joint health and safety committee members that are there. During a routine inspection, we'll also be looking for a policy and a program in relationship to harassment. And we want to see that the employer has done those things and has one of those functioning in their workplace. As well, the employer has a requirement to investigate those incidents and then deal with them. In the event of workplace violence, the Ministry of Labour is not the first responders. In any case of violence or attempted physical force or threat of violence in the workplace, it's still the role of the police to investigate and to deal with those incidents. You are aware that workers can refuse um, to work if they have reason to believe that they will be physically injured by workplace violence. Nobody should expect workplace violence to be part of their normal job. Workplace violence is not tolerated in any workplace. People should be able to go to work in Ontario without fear of workplace violence or harassment. For additional resources, visit the Ministry of Labour website and you can download the Ministry of Labour guideline to workplace violence and harassment.